Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, is going to be a comparison of Zara and Mango. So I've just ordered um, six items from each brand, um, which I've tried to get as similar as possible. What I was gonna do is pull one item out at a time, find, rummage around, find the other one in the other box, um, and compare them, and compare sort of quality, fill of material, and then I will do a try on afterwards with full length clips so I can compare fit and style, um, and then I'll let you know, in my opinion, which one comes out on top at the end. Um, so hopefully it's interesting, it's a bit of a different video for me. I have tried to find a couple of items that I think might work for breastfeeding fashion, because obviously that's what I've done previously, um, but these are really just general items. I was looking for a bit of a wardrobe update, so um, I just thought it would be quite fun to do it as a comparison video, um, and hopefully I might find a few bits for my updated wardrobe as well. Um, so yeah, as we go, as I say, I will um, talk about each item, I'll give you a price comparison as well, um, and I will link each item in the description box below also, so if you wanted to take a look there, you can click through. Um, in the description box, I'll also add my size as a comparison, and I'll try and add the price as well, and I'll try and add them in the order that I show you the items in, because that might be helpful. Um, yeah, so uh, before we get started, if you are new to my channel, it would be amazing if you could subscribe um, and if you enjoy the video today, please do give it a thumbs up um, and let me know in the comments what you think of each item and which one you think comes out on top, Zara or Mango. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I think I'm going to get into the Zara box first. It's a bit of a smaller box, maybe a bit more manageable. Sorry, I've got my scissors here to get in. Um, and actually, whilst I just unbox this, I was just going to mention about delivery times at the moment. So obviously it's a bit tricky with lockdown and everything that's going on with COVID. Um, so um, yeah, delivery times for items I find are varying massively at the moment. I don't know if you're finding the same. Let me know in the comments if you are. Um, but yeah, I found, so I ordered this, I think, maybe Boxing Day, I did both orders at the same time. Um, and the mango one was here by the 28th, so two days later. The Zara one took about a week, that one? Yeah, about a week, huh? um, So yeah, that was quite a difference in, in orders. So, I opened up my Zara box. First item I have got, oh, this is nice, is a lovely chunky knit buttoned cardigan. I've seen quite a few of these um, on different people on YouTube and Instagram, and I just thought they looked so cozy and lovely. Um, and I also thought they were quite practical for breastfeeding as well, because they're all functional buttons. Um, so yeah, I really liked this. My sister also got one from, I think her one was from H&M, but it was a very similar style. So I just thought I'd look at these two, um, and then I might speak to her as well and find out what she thought of the um, H&M one open up the Zara box and we'll have a look. Oh, that's handy, it's right on top as well. Um, if you hear a little bit of talking in this video, I'm afraid it's my other half, he's just through the door there. Um, he's into sim racing at the moment, so he's on that and then um, he's got like a team that he races with so he chats with them. So apologies if you can hear them chatting through there. He keeps trying to get me to do a YouTube video on um, sim rig racing, which I think is quite big on YouTube at the moment, but I've never raced. And to be honest, it makes me feel quite sick when I'm driving and the screens and everything. So anyway, let me know in the comments if, if you um, watch any gaming videos like that. But yeah, I'm not sure it's for me. Um, so, oh, this looks lovely too. They are so similar actually. So this is the Mango Chunky Knit Cardigan, which is beautifully soft and lovely. It doesn't feel itchy at all just feels like nice soft material. It is slightly cropped, so I'll be able to see that a bit better on the try-on. Um, it's got three lovely um, sort of tortoiseshell buttons. And then the Zara one um, has also this lovely knit. I'd say I prefer the knit on the Zara one. It's a bit more of a chunky knit. It's a bit different, I would say, to this one. This is more like a fine knit one. Um, this is like a loose, the Zara one is more like a looser knit. Um, so I think on first impressions, um, I think I'm keener on the Zara one. I also quite like the 
the sleeves look quite nice and wide and comfy on the Zara one. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the look of both. Um, price wise, sorry, I've got my phone here just to, so I can make sure I'm correct on the prices at the moment. So price wise, the Zara one was $29.99. The mango cardigan was £19.99, so £10 difference between them. Um, as I said, first impression is I like the Zara one, which is the pricier one. Um, but let's see how they are on the trials. Okay, so this is the mango cardigan on, and I love it. It is so soft, it's so snuggly. I think it fits really nicely. It is cropped, but I I think that's fine, and I think both of them are actually. Um, I quite like the sleeves, they're nice and wide. The material is super, super soft. It's got a really nice, lovely knitted pattern on it. Um, the buttons are nice, everything's nice about it. Um, it is a knitted material, but it's not itchy. It's super, super soft. I think it would be a good option for breastfeeding because it's very easy to layer because it's so nice and wide and it's nice and stretchy. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think um, you could, I, I don't think you could obviously dress it up too much, but it just looks fab with jeans and it would be nice and comfy enough to be just wearing around the house as well. Um, yeah, really, really like this one. So let's see what the Zara one looks like. So this is the Zara one. And I have to say, it's really difficult to decide. They are so similar. And um, this is also very, very soft material and super snugly fits really nicely, very, very similar, so it's a cropped style, um, very roomy, very stretchy. Um, I would say this one's got a bit more detail on it. Um, it's a wider knit, so it's got more sort of um, holes in it, basically, so you'll be able to see more what you've got on underneath. Um, the other one you could possibly get away with, or you could wear it just with a bralette on underneath. This one is a bit more, you're a little bit more exposed, you can see a little bit more through the knit um, as to what you've got on underneath. Um, and it's there's a bit, but there's a bit more detailing on this one. I quite like the pattern and design of this one. I just feel like it's a bit different. Um, for me, I think I like this one, the Zara one. I think this wins on this occasion. As I say, it's such a close call, and I love both of them. And um, they're both so comfy and snuggly. They'd be great for at home. I just quite like how this one's a little bit different to other ones that I've seen. I think the mango one is a little bit more plain, a little bit similar to other designs I've seen. This, I think, stands out a bit more. Um, but they're both beautiful, beautiful cardigans. Okay, so next up from the Zara box, on top of the Zara box next, I've got this. Ah, this is, so although I said I've got six items, it's kind of seven, because I also bought um, a, a coordinated loungewear set from Zara and from Mango, which this is part of. So this is the top for the loungewear. Um, from Zara. Um, on first impressions, I'd say it looks huge. It looks really big. I mean, I know it's nice to be oversized and slouchy with loungewear, but it does look quite big to me, and this is a small. Um, and also, although I like the look of the material, and I like the colour and the texture of it, I'm a bit worried that that might be a bit itchy. Um, and I think with loungewear, I probably will be wearing it with, without a top on underneath, so I'd like it to be quite soft against my skin. Um, it feels a bit itchy, but we'll see on the try-on from that. Um, and with that, I ordered these um, matching bottoms, loungewear bottoms. Again, the material I'm a bit worried could be a bit itchy. It also seems like a like a quite an odd shape. It look at the size of the, that's that's the waist. I thought that was a leg when I just picked it up a moment ago. That's that is very small. <laughs> I mean, they're stretchy. They're nice and stretchy, but. It's a tiny little waist. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'd be quite interested to see what these are like on. They're very different to any other loungewear that I've I've had before or that I've seen. Um, so it'd be just interesting to see what they look like on. So that's the Zara set which I got, um, and the Mango set is also. I also got a grey knitted set for Mango, um, just to make sure I have quite similar similar items to try on. Oh, and it is very similar actually. It's a much lighter grey, but it's the same sort of knit. Um, so again, I'm just a little bit worried this is going to be a bit itchy on my skin. I mean, it's, I'm sure it'll be super, super warm, um, but we shall see. And um, again, <laughs> the waist looks tiny. It looks like I'd maybe fit it around my neck, not my waist. But we shall see. I think I also ordered this in a size small. Oh, actually, 
Uh, this one I ordered in an extra small for some reason, so that might be why it's tiny, but it does seem mini. Anyway, so we shall try that on. Um, that's the mango set, and then it has this matching top with it. Ah, and this one, again, it's very similar material, so I ordered another knitted one, um, but this one is a hoodie version, which actually is lovely. I like, this does feel a bit softer and a bit cosier. Um, again, it looks really oversized, but I guess that's the style for um, loungewear. So um, we shall see. Price-wise, so the mango ones were um, £36 for the joggers and £36 for the top. And the Zara ones were 25 for the bottom and 25 for the top. So the Zara ones were quite a bit more reasonable when you're buying it as a co-ord, uh, quite a bit cheaper. Um, yeah, and as I say, I, for some reason I've ordered different sizing as well. I can't remember why I did that. But in Mango I've ordered extra small and in Zara I've ordered small. Um, yeah, so again, we shall see, I think probably on first impressions, I think I prefer the Mango one. Um, I just think, I think I find it a little bit softer than the Zara one, and I also quite like the hoodie um, on the mango one. Um, but again, we'll see in the trials. So this is the Zara um, loungewear set. Um, it is really nice, actually. It is, I, I feel a little bit, I haven't got anything on underneath it, and I feel, I do feel a little bit itchy. Um, my, in my mind, loungewear is supposed to be super duper soft and, and really cosy and snuggly in your skin. And I just don't know if I want to feel a little bit itchy, which I do in this. Um, so I don't feel that comfortable. Fit-wise, though, it's lovely. It's really nice. I was a bit worried about the waist um, being that small, but it's super duper stretchy. So actually, it's perfect on. It's lovely. Um, yeah, I think they fit nice, nice around the bottom. There's um, it's not some. I think some with some joggers you end up with a bit of a lowered crutch, and um, this isn't like that. It just fits really, really nicely, and um, they're super comfy fit. And I do like it, and I like the style, and I like the colour. As I say, I just think I probably wouldn't be keeping this one just because I find it a bit itchy. Let me just try and give you a bit of a full length what it's like um, so it, it uh, is gathered in at the um, ankles as well um, so yeah really nice style really nice design and fit um, I just think it's a little little bit itchy for me and this is the mango loungewear set um, again I think it's a really beautiful fit it's really nice I feel so I do feel really comfy in this one um, it's the waist is nice and cinched in um, the legs fit really nicely, it fits nicely around the bottom um, and I like, I quite like the hoodie as well, I don't think it's all too, I don't think it feels too tight um, I like the colour, it's nice and warm, yeah it's a beautiful beautiful loungewear set the only thing I'd say about this one is it does have, the other one didn't have drawstring around the waist and this interestingly has this drawstring bit but it doesn't, it's not real, it doesn't work so it doesn't go all the way around to pull you in, it's just a detail at the front which I actually find a little bit annoying because um, I, I think it then sticks out on clothes. Like if you have a top down there, you can often see it sticking out. So yeah, if, if I decide to keep this one, I'd probably be cutting that off. Um, but apart from that, yeah, lovely, lovely set. Really like this. This is a little, little bit itchy because it is a knitted loungewear set, but it's not as itchy as the Zara one. Um, so yeah, I, I like this one too. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll be keeping either of these just because like I said I think I, I want a really snuggly soft um, loungewear set and I just feel like both of these are I think they look really good but I think they're not probably the most comfortable that I could find so I might carry on my hunt for a nice loungewear coordinated set. Next up in the Zara box I just ordered a white shirt from both so I actually don't have any decent white shirts and I know everyone says that's a wardrobe staple so I just thought Let's compare them, see if I can find one that I like. The reason being, whenever I have tried on a white shirt, I just find it never fits right. It's, it's a bit gapy around here, or it feels too restrictive, or the arms look weird, or I just feel like I'm wearing like a school shirt. And um, so I just haven't found the right one. So I just thought I'd try a couple of these just to see what they're like. Um, so I do think white shirts look so chic on. Um, so this is the Zara one. I think it's a bit of an oversized shirt, which I quite like. Um, and it's really nice material, it feels lovely and soft. It is hugely oversized actually, so it'd be interesting to see what it looks like on. Um, yeah, it's got a, a sort of overlay over the buttons on this one, 
So there's one button on show at the top and then the others are uh, sort of hidden buttons, which I quite like. I think that looks quite smart um, on. So, um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Is that picking up in focus just about? Um, yeah, so I think that's quite a smart shirt. Um, the mango one, um, while I'm unwrapping it as well, can I just say, I, that I think the best packaging of any clothing brand is Sara by far. Because mango, they're like and any other brand, there's so much packaging with everything. It's such a waste, isn't it? It's, um, whereas Zara, I think, is just beautifully packaged and it just feels a bit more environmentally friendly. Anyway, this is the mango shirt. And I would say, initial impressions, this is more my style of shirt. It's fitted, more fitted shirt. Um, the material feels like it's got a bit of stretch, a bit of give in it. Um, less school shirty, I would say. Um, the collar is a bit different as well. I'd say it's a bit more, again, a bit more style to it, perhaps. I think it all comes down to the material, though. I think this is more sort of scratchy material that you'd expect from, like I said, like a school shirt. This is softer material. I feel like this is a bit more um, grown up. I would say. Um, it does have visible buttons, there's no cover over the buttons like there is with the Zara one, but I don't think that's really an issue. Um, I think with a shirt though, I think it's going to be down to the try-ons, um, so we'll have a look um, on, on those. Price-wise, sorry again to be looking at my phone, um, but the Zara shirt was 26 and the mango shirt was 20 so the mango is a little bit cheaper again there um, and we'll see what they look like on okay so this is the zara shirt on um i'm not a fan of it on actually it's hugely oversized i did realize that i ordered this in a medium so to be fair it's going to be a bit big um, but it's really, really big. I mean, perhaps if you're going to wear it with um, like leggings or something, maybe, because it is quite nice. It's a long, it covers your bum, and I quite like the slit in the middle here. It's quite nice. Um, but it's not really for what I wanted to wear it for, really, which was with jeans. I just don't think it looks that nice. And the material is quite um, sort of stiff material. It's not nice, soft material. Um, yeah, it's just, I, I just don't feel that comfortable in it at all. Um, so this one is not for me. The next up is the mango shirt and this has a much nicer feel to it. Um, less scratchy material, um, much more soft, much more fitted. Um, I don't think it's very see-through, I've just got a bra on underneath and I don't think you can see maybe a little bit but it's not too bad. Um, it has a nice back on it as well. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I think this definitely wins um, over the Zara one. I think it's just a nice, simple, basic white shirt um, that is what I was looking for for my wardrobe, so it's perfect. So next up from the Zara box, I've got a pair of skinny flares. And I think flares are gonna be quite big in 2021 if we're ever able to leave the house and go out anywhere in, in decent clothes rather than just loungewear. But if so, I think flares are gonna have a bit of a moment. Um, so I just thought I'd order a couple of pairs to see what they look like. Um, at the moment I live in um, mum jeans um, or skinny jeans really, so I don't have any flares. Um, I used to and I had a lovely pair which I threw away, so I'd, a stupid move because they were really nice. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd experiment and see what these look like on. Um, so the Zara ones feel lovely, look lovely. I love the dark denim wash of these, they're a really, really nice colour. Um, material feels nice, there's a bit of stretch in it which is always good. Um, they are big, but I think I actually, yeah, I did. They didn't have my size in these, so I sized up. Um, so I've actually got a 12, so this could be a bit of a fail because I'm not sure they're going to fit me. Um, but I just thought I'd see anyway, I just thought I'd see what they're like. Um, but yeah, some really, really lovely jeans. Um, so we'll have to see what they look like on. Oh, so that is the Zara flared jeans. Mango ones. Oh, these are a slightly different wash by the look of it. I think they're a bit lighter. Yeah, these are a little bit lighter, perhaps a bit more of a um, casual wash, maybe. That maybe they're a bit of a smarter wash, but equally lovely, equally lovely colour. And um, I could see me wearing that quite, that colour quite a lot. These ones. 
Um, nice, again, bit of stretch in them. Oh, quite a bit of stretch in those actually. Really quite a bit. Um, really nice feel, love, feel like lovely quality. What I would say about the mango ones is they've got a frayed end on them. Um, the Zara ones don't. Um, and I don't, I'm not that keen on the frayed end actually. So I kind of think, I think like flare jeans are going to look like quite a smart pair of jeans. I wouldn't see me wearing them with trainers, I'd see me wearing them with heels. Um, so because of that, I think I'd probably want a bit of a smarter look, so that's what I'm not sure about the frayed edge. But we'll see what it looks like on. Um, yeah, nice pockets on the back. So these are the mango ones. And these are the Sarah ones. So I think first impressions, again, I think I prefer mango. I think they might win this round. Um, apart from the frayed edges on the bottom. But again, we shall see on the try-on. And price-wise for those, mango flares are £36. The Zara ones are £30. So these are the Zara flares, um, and I love them. I didn't expect to like them this much. I really, really think they look lovely on. Let me try to show you a bit of a longer shot. I just think flares are such a flattering style of jean on any figure. I think if if you're if you don't have much shape, they give you shape. I think if you're slightly curvier, I think um, they, they fit you really well. I think, um, yeah, I just think skin, skinny jeans, which I've been a big fan of for a long time, are actually really unflattering shape on so many figures. I'm quite straight up and down. I don't have much of a bum. And I don't think skinny jeans do that much for me. Whereas I think flared jeans actually give me a bit of shape. I just think they look so, so much better on. Um, yeah, I really, really like these. Um, I think they fit really nicely around the bum. Um, they, like I said, they've got a bit of stretch, um, so they don't feel too restricting. Um, I really like the colour, really like the fit. I like how they're high-waisted, but not ridiculously high-waisted. Um, they're really comfy. The only thing I would say is, these are the ones that I ordered a 12 in. Um, because they didn't have my size and they actually fit really really well and I would normally say I'm an 8 to 10 so I would perhaps say to size up in these jeans and um, I think well I'd like to keep them I might check online to see if they've got the 10 so I can order that for comparison before I decide to keep the 12 um, but yeah so I probably would size up if I was you especially if your border sizes and um, I think the 8 would have I don't think I even would have been able to do it up um, but yeah really really big fan of these jeans and these are the mango flares. I also really like these flares. I think they fit really nicely. I love the way they're sort of really, really tapered around your leg. Um, I think they fit really nicely around here. I think they're really lovely on the bottom as well. Um, yeah, I really like these. I think my only bit I don't like about them, as I, as I thought I would, is the bottom edges of them. Um, so they're like a frayed edge. And I just, in my mind, I always think flare jeans are quite smart jeans and I think I would like to wear them with heels rather than flats um, and so I just think that sort of takes something away from them a bit having a frayed edge like that. I think they're lovely smart jeans and I really really like these mango ones all the way down to the bottom when they finish. I just think if they finished with a nice sewn edge it would be so much uh, more chic. So yeah I'm not, I'm keen on these but not keen on the bottom so overall I think the Zara flares win for me. So next in the Zara box, on top of it, we have a jumper dress. So I've ordered one of these from both. Um, the Zara one feels lovely, actually. I really like this. It's beautiful colour. It's um, a sort of berry, berry colour. I don't know if you can see very clearly on there. Yeah, beautiful berry, whiny colour. Um, this one does have shoulder pads in. Um, I, I quite like the shoulder pads actually, I'm quite liking the style of that and I do think it's, it's going to be um, a growing trend in 2021 as well. I know in 2020 shoulder pads have been uh, big, <gasps> um, but I think it's going to be a trend that continues from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, I, I like that, I'd be interested to see what it looks like on. I really like the fit of it, really lovely quality material, it's nice and thick. It looks like it's going to be a nice length, it's midi. Um, and nice fitted collar as well. I don't like it when collars are too, on this type of dress, are too wide. This looks like quite a nice fitted one. Um, yeah, I really, really like that dress. That looks lovely. So let's look at the mango version. 
Ah, oh, and this is quite different. So I literally ordered the same. I ordered a ribbed mini dress, uh, ribbed midi jumper dress. But this feels quite different. This is, um, obviously it's a black one, this one. Um, but it's a lot thinner material, much, much thinner. No shoulder pads, um, but it equally feels beautiful. The material feels so lovely and soft. Um, I think it's gonna be a really comfy dress, this one, really comfy and cozy. Um, nice length, nice quality material. I like the rib detailing. Again, I like the neck on this. It's a different neck. Um, it's more of a turtleneck, so it stands up. Um, but yeah, I like that. I just think that's gonna be really cozy. I really like both of these, actually. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wanna keep both of them. Um, which probably isn't an option. So I don't know how I'm gonna choose. You might have to help me choose in the comments which one you like. Um, but, and we'll have to try them on and see what they look like. Um, so price-wise, the knitted one with shoulder pads from Zara was £26. And the mango one was £30. So again, very similar. Um, so let's see what they look like in the trial. And um, this is the mango jumper dress. And it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, soft material. It's so lovely and snuggly, um, but still nice and thin. I don't think you'd overheat in it. So it's really soft, lovely material. Um, but I, yeah, I really like the way it fits as well. It's nice ribs material. It comes down to a nice length just below my knee. Um, like I say, I'm five foot eight. So if you're um, a bit shorter than me, um, it would come down quite long, is the only thing, um, depending, on, depending on your height. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. I love the neck detail. Um, it actually fits really nicely. It fits nicely in the back too. Um, nice sleeve length on it as well. Uh, yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful, lovely dress. And then this is the Zara jumper dress. Um, again, lovely, lovely material, um, beautifully soft, um, beautiful fit as well. I really, really like this one. I would just say this is really different to the mango one though, because I think the mango one is a slightly looser fitting, thinner material, um, much more, well, they're both comfortable, but that would be more comfortable, I think, if you were gonna wear it for a lounge wear or just sort of daytime wear. This, I think, um, it is comfortable, but it's definitely more fitted. Material is a little bit thicker. Um, and I think you could even get away with this for uh, workwear as well. I think it fits so nicely. Um, whereas I don't think you could with the mango one. I think the mango one is more sort of daytime, going to the shops type wear, whereas this could be workwear. Um, both are beautiful and lovely. They really are quite different. Um, I love the shoulder pad detail in this one. I just think it makes it really structured and really lovely. Um, but they're quite subtle. I don't feel like I'm an American football player, for example. Um, yeah, really like this one. Lengthwise, um, it's similar to the mango one. Probably doesn't come down quite um, quite as low, below, below my knee. Um, but yeah, really nice midi length again. Um, and I will just show you the back quickly. Um, yeah, fits really nicely. Love both of them. Um, as I said before, I'm gonna find it really difficult to choose, so please do let me know in the comments which is your favorite. The final item I can see in the Zara box is a little bit of an odd one. I think people are gonna be divided by this, but it's, it is a jumpsuit. Um, and what my idea behind ordering jumpsuit was, I've seen quite a lot of people on the breastfeeding groups ordering loungewear jumpsuits. And a lot of them have come from the supermarket. So I think that Asda do a really nice one, Tesco's do. Um, whenever I've looked for them, they've just been sold out. So I thought I'd try and find um, like a, a jumpsuit that would be appropriate for breastfeeding. So I was looking for buttons, zips, stretchy fabric. Um, and I've, I know, I think I, well, I hope I found quite a nice one in Mango. And this is the one I found from Zara, which is not similar, I'm afraid. So it's, it, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess, really say it's a loungewear jumpsuit, which is what I was going for, but it's the nearest I could find. And I just wanted to try it. So this is, as I say, a jumpsuit. It's a ribbed knitted fabric, which is nice. It feels really soft and lovely, actually. Um, I do like the fabric and I think it could be really comfortable on. Um, and it's got a zip detail at the front, which I actually really liked as well. Um, online it looked really smart and I quite like the zip detail here, I think it's nice. And it looks like, well, it definitely will go down far enough um, for breastfeeding. My only thought was, I don't know how good it's gonna be as loungewear at home. It's lovely soft material, so it might be okay. 
um, but I don't know, the zip's not going to be that soft and comfortable, especially if you're carrying a baby round. Um, do you really want to be carrying around with a zip on? I don't know. And also, this one's sleeveless, so you then have to layer it. But that might be suitable for some people. If you've got a warm house and you want to layer up, that might be quite appropriate. Um, and I also think the benefit of this Zara one is you could really dress it up or dress it down. Um, it'd be quite a versatile option. So let's look at the mango one too, which as I say, was the one I saw first and was the one that was a bit more loungy. Um, yeah, this is lovely material. Really, really lovely. Um, it almost feels as soft as like cashmere. It's not cashmere because it's not, it wasn't that expensive. Um, but it's nice, it's really nice soft material. I think it would keep you really, really warm. Um, and yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful material. It's got flared legs at the bottom. Um, it's got a belt decal around the middle as well to cinch it in, which I think would look really, make it look a lot smarter. Even though it's loungewear, I think you'd feel quite smart in it. Um, and it's a wrap style um, and it is super, super stretchy. So again, it'll be interesting to see what it's like on, but I think that would be quite, um, a nice bit item to have in your wardrobe as home loungewear, um, especially for breastfeeding as well. I think it would be it'd be really smart. And equally, I think you could probably dress that up or dress that down. Not dress it up as in dress it up with heels, but definitely I would say dress it up enough to be able to go out in it. I don't think it's just like for home. I think you could um, definitely dress it up and go out to the shops in it. I think it would look quite smart. Um, so yeah, it would be interesting again to see what these are like in the try-on. The mango one was more expensive. The mango one was £36 for this. The Zara one was £26. Um, but we will see what they look like in the try-on. This is the Zara jumpsuit and for me it's a bit of a fail. I was going for a loungewear type jumpsuit and this was the best I could find on Zara. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's not a comfy loungewear one really. It's, it's more like cat suit than a jumpsuit I'd say it's really really tight fitting and um, I mean it, does, it is nice material it fits nicely if if you're in the market for a cat suit which is not what I was going for um so yeah I don't think it's that comfy as loungewear I mean it would be fabulous for breastfeeding if this is what you're looking for because it's got this amazing zip um which is nice it's a nice detail it does look nice but yeah I just don't know where I will wear this I couldn't see me wearing it anywhere so this one was a little bit of a fail <laughs> this is the mango one and as opposed to the Zara one this is a complete success not a fail and um, what I was looking for I think as I said previously was just a really comfy loungewear type jumpsuit I've seen a few in the supermarkets um, which always seem to be out of stock and I was looking for something similar and this is just beautiful beautiful soft lovely material super snuggly and comfy and um, ideal for lounging around the house in and um, I love the length of the trousers and um, it's actually perfect spot on really really nice and they've got a bit of a flare to them as well which I think is quite nice a lot of lounge where I'm seeing at the moment is tight at the ankles so I quite like the flared legs on this um, and um, height wise I'm about 5 foot 8 um, and it's just absolutely perfect on me um, so, and I actually like it's even got pockets which is always good and um, I think it fits nicely around the bottom um, like I said before it's not, it's not sort of a baggy crotch on it or anything like that um, sorry I don't know if you heard that properly in the microphone but there's not like a baggy crotch on it or anything it fits really really nicely it's just beautiful, it's super soft I think this would be ideal for breastfeeding as it's extra stretchy around here, it'd be ideal. Um, maybe even um, pyjamas for breastfeeding. I think as I've said on previous videos, I know it's quite tricky when you're um, breastfeeding at night time and you want access uh, to the goods, but you don't want to be cold on top whilst you're feeding. I think this would be quite a nice option. Um, and I actually think as well for a jumpsuit, it would be really easy to go to the toilet, which I can be an issue for a jumpsuit because it's so stretchy, you can literally just pull down the top um, you don't need any zips or buttons to undo. So this I absolutely love. I think this is a really, really nice loungewear jumpsuit. So Mango definitely, definitely win in this category. Two bonus items I just wanted to show you, which I didn't show you in the unboxing because they're not part of the haul or the comparison, um, but I did order them in this order. So I just thought I might as well show you as a bit of a bonus. So this dress was from Zara and it is 
a completely ridiculous dress because I have nowhere to wear this at the moment, obviously, we are all in lockdown. But it's just one of those items that you see it and you just think, oh, I really love that and it's so different. And I think if I don't buy it now, then later in the year, hopefully when we may have some uh, events to go to once again, um, I, yeah, I think I would have regretted not buying it. Um, and I really, really like it. So it, again, it's like a knitted sort of tight fitting material, but how lovely is this detail here? It's got a little sparkly heart cut out. So you can actually see, that is like my skin, you can actually see that. Um, but I just thought it's so pretty. It's really, really like basic dress. It's just a black knitted dress, but I just love that the extra detail at the side. I just thought it was really unusual. Um, and it is a midi dress, so it comes down just below my knees. Um, so yeah, not part of a haul, not part of the comparison at all, but I just thought I'd show you as a little bit of a bonus. And the other item that I also ordered um, in this haul, but not part of the haul video, um, was this bag from Mango. So I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to show a bit better up close. Um, this is just a little uh, rigid structured bag, which I think was in the sale. So you can hold it as a bag like that, but I quite like it how it had a crossbody strap. Just looks quite a smart bag. And I think there's plenty of room to fit a phone and wallet and keys in there as well. So yeah, I really like that. And I think it was in sale. I think the bag was 12 99 And I do think I'm gonna get quite a bit of use out of that. I really liked that. Um, the dress was 49 99 and that's it for all of my comparison items. Um, so I, I haven't tried the items on yet because I'm just about to do that and then I'll cut the footage in. Um, so you would have seen the try-ons during this video but I won't know what they're like on yet. Um, so I, But I think on first impressions, just from unboxing and feeling the fabrics and everything, I think Mango have picked it. I think Mango have, have won here. But um, please do let me know in the comments what you think, whether Mango or Zara have won. Um, I'd be interested to know your thoughts um, and particularly let me know which um, jumper dress you liked because I think I'm going to love both of them and I think I'm going to struggle to decide which one to keep so do let me know in the comments which jumper dress you like that would be good um, and also if you would like like this style of video if you want to see any other comparison videos maybe more focus on breastfeeding fashion that would be brilliant let me know what brands you'd be interested to see and I'll see what I can do um, and yeah, if you um, enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, it would be brilliant if you could subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you all on my next video. So thank you so much for watching and bye for now.